Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to join mine and Moon's journey. In this video, I'm going to be doing a tail washing. I have previously done a video on tail washing with a grey horse, but it wasn't great. So I thought I would redo the video. So here it is. You can see her tail is absolutely disgusting. So it needs a wash. This is going to be her last tail wash before winter if it's too cold as you can see it's disgusting so the first thing I do is I like to wet the tail completely and then I grab a brush and I start brushing from the ends up to the root this is the best way to do it because you pull out the least amount of hair and with her being a Connie cross cob she has more of a Connie tail so it's not really that thick so I don't usually brush her tail, I only brush her tail if I'm washing it or if I plait it up. But other than that, she doesn't have her tail brushed because she doesn't have that much of a tail. I like her tail the way it is. It's not too thick and it's not too thin, so don't mess what's with already good. So you can see the bits that I have brushed are a lot fluffier and you can see where the bits I haven't brushed are still quite tangled and kind of look like they're um, stuck together kind of thing. So you want to brush the whole tail out until it's nice and fluffy. So now that the tail is all nice and fluffy, I am going to wet the tail again because I find the tail dries really fast. So I like to wet the tail again. And the brush really helps getting right in the middle parts that are quite hard to get. So I like to use that and I'm brush it through it one more time. Then in this video, I am going to be using the NAF Show Off um, shampoo. I like this shampoo. It's really nice. I have done a video on a comparison with Fairy Platinum. So I will link that up above and you can see who won. So I'm just using the NAF in this video and I'm really really working it in to the top of her tail, all of the underneath of her tail and the middle. You really have to work. Work with the tail kind of work it in because you know the tail is just quite difficult to get really really clean because the middle parts like to hide so here i'm brushing it all through and i'll keep brushing because i find that helps get um a lot of the dirt off is when you're brushing it through because the brush is pulling out the dirt so i like to brush it all through and then i do get a smaller i think it's like a main pulling comb and I like to use that to get into the little bits that I can't quite get with the big brush. As you can see here, I like to get the bits just on the underside of her dock. And obviously you do not want to be too aggressive because you're right on their dock. So you just be careful and keep brushing. And here I found a bit that was not wet, even with all of that stuff. So I had to wet it and put more shampoo just there and brush it through. Here 
I'm just rinsing the top part out and the whole of the tail. I then like to do another wash, which I kind of call it like a whitewash, where I put all the shampoo back on, or if I find a place that I'm not quite happy with, I will wash that part again, and then add soap to the whole tail, brush it through, and then I plait it up and I tie it into a band and I leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes and it just makes the tail so much brighter it makes such a difference to leave it in and let it kind of brighten everything up so here's a bit that I found that I wasn't quite happy with so I did go back over that and now I am just plaiting the tail and I will leave that for about 10 to 15 minutes So here I am, I'm just going to be taking the plait out, just about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes later, and I just rinse all the soap out. And I use the brush again to just help make sure that I get everything out, and it just helps get in the hair where you want it. So here I'm just kind of wringing her tail out to get as much water as possible out. And she's got her rug on because she did have a bath before this, so just wanted to make sure that she is warm enough. So here I am just going to towel dry her tail. A bit of her tail has been cut because I had a key ring and a couple of things made with, with it, so I did this while it's cut, but it's fine, just ignore that. It's fully dried, so it gets whiter and whiter as it dries, which is quite handy. So here you can see her tail is still a little bit wet, but she wanted to go out and was pitching a fit. So to just thought I would show you the top. The top of her tail is pretty much dry and it just looks absolutely stunning. I love a nice clean grey. I don't think there is anything better than a just washed grey. Until obviously you see them the next day and then it's nothing worse. But is absolutely stunning so don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye guys hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll leave some extra videos for you on this side and this side and i'll leave the subscribe button up here hope you enjoyed the video bye guys